Hi there. Thank you very much for taking a moment to watch our product introduction video. Uh, my name is Brett Arnold. I'm the CEO of Neutronics Quintel, and I'm here to introduce our 4006 mid-level mask aligner, which is an extremely high-performance mask aligner, widely acclaimed by our client base throughout the world as the most economical and efficient mask aligner in the market today. Uh, looking at this tool, which is the 4006, I'd like to recognize that this system is not completely standard equipped. It is equipped with the quad cam feature, which is a product advancement that we've made on our automated platform, the NXQ8000. We've made it available as an option to the 4006. And looking at this, you can see it is a, uh, a four port camera system that allows you to operate on the same focus plane while switching magnifications and field of view. Um, it's a very nice upgrade to have in the event that you have a lot of different masks that you'll be running on the machine. Um, and the display of these cameras is presented here on the monitor. And it's very easily switched back and forth just by flipping this switch. So if I flip this switch over to low magnification, you can now see that my field of view has been increased by approximately five times without needing to do any additional focus change or objective position change. If I flip the switch back, you'll see it goes right back to high magnification again. Uh, this eliminates the need to have a turret magnification system that rotates the objectives and then requires additional focusing by the operator. Um, in addition, this system is equipped with an infrared alignment system, which is uh, a new design that we created specifically for the 4006. It operates and is loaded underneath the tray, as you can see here, and it allows Y and X left and X right infrared positioning, which makes it extremely useful and efficient for an operator when she's needing or he is needing to make alignments on different products. Unlike the 4004 mask aligner that we just recently discontinued, that infrared system actually required the infrared source to be physically located and locked into position, which did not allow it to be adjusted easily on the fly by the operator as they changed product sets. Uh, with this new design, it's completely adjustable by just rotating these knobs and it allows you to set up to a new infrared alignment job in a matter of seconds. Um, another thing that I'd like to point out on this machine is that there are many, many users, hundreds and hundreds as a matter of fact, of the 4004s that are in the field and they've been uh, widely regarded as a uh, uh, just an excellent machine for fragile substrates specific to the LED industry. Um, I'd like to point out that this machine is actually the same machine as the 4004 from the uh, body down. So it does not lose any of the features and functionality of the 4004. It still uses the same air bearing leveling system which is an incredibly uh, precise and gentle leveling system that's ideal for fragile substrates. It allows the operators of the machine to set up, or excuse me, the maintenance people of the machine to set up for uh, ideal leveling in virtually any type of substrate that you could process on this tool. Um, otherwise, the system is, again, it's the same. You've got your uh, course align function here, your contact and separate function here by these buttons. And then on the right side, you've got your wafer load your expose, your mask clamp, your mask vacuum, and your clearing functions, which are easily accessible to the operator and, uh, again, quite efficient. Uh, one other thing that I would like to mention on the 4000 platform is that we do have semi-automatic sequencing for this machine so that when you load a wafer into the machine, you do not have to press buttons to lock the wafer onto the chuck, and you do not have to manually level the chuck to the mask or create the separation point. It does all of that for you in an automatic PLC program and I'll be demonstrating that when I run the machine. So um, 
Further notes on this is that the top side objectives are controlled through the Y adjustment knob here, as you can see on the screen. It's just very simple to adjust. And then you have your X positioning controlled through these knobs. So very simple. And again, here is the Y adjustment. So we've got plus or minus a half an inch of travel in the Y. And then we have full travel on X left and X right so that we can accommodate substrates as small as a, a centimeter square all the way out to 6 inch on the 4006 model as well as out to 8 inch on the 4008 model. And again, that's just controlled through here. Optionally, if you were working with small samples, something in the neighborhood of 20 millimeters or, or larger, we can equip the system with offset objectives which reduce the viewing span on the system so that you can actually perform a split field alignment on pieces, again, uh, uh, down to about 20 millimeters or even a, a tad bit smaller. Uh, with that said, you can also move one objective out of the way, moving the left or the right objective into the center of the field of view so that you can actually do an extremely small sample using uh, one, one field alignment. Uh, with that said, I'd like to go ahead and just move forward with a demonstration so that you can see how the tool operates. And what I've got on this machine is actually a wafer on the chuck. It is inverted, so you might notice, I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera, but there is no pattern on the top side of this wafer. And I'll actually be showing a quick infrared alignment as we look through the wafer, because the pattern is on the bottom side of this and we'll shine infrared through and we'll display not only the pattern on the wafer but the pattern on the mask demonstrating how an operator would make an alignment front to back. Um, very first thing that they would do is they would take the wafer from the cassette and as a matter of fact see you can see there's a pattern on that side and there is no pattern on that side. And so we're demonstrating, in this case, an infrared through wafer alignment. So I'll take this wafer, pattern down, and I will load it onto the chuck. I'll flip my pre-aligner into position, just locate the wafer, flip the pre-aligner back, like so. And now I'll just load the tray in. Press load. And now the system automatically planarizes, levels, and sets the gap of the wafer to the mask. Now if we look up on the screen, what you'll see is the automatic initiation of the infrared system. So we are now looking at the wafer pattern down through the mask. We're using top side and bottom side illumination so that we can see the images clearly. And now for alignment purposes, because this is a uh, course out, I would simply press down the course align button, move it into a position that allows me to see the marks that I would like to see. In this case, I'll just go ahead and make a rotational alignment to true that up. It appears as though I've not done a very good job of doing a pre-alignment. There we go. And I'll move this over and now what you can see is the wafer has been rotationally aligned and I'm now able to make a simple XY precision translation through the joystick on the right side. This is an alternative to the micrometer alignment stages that are often offered on low end machines. We prefer to equip the systems with this easy to use joystick. It does allow you to make alignments with an accuracy of one micron or better with ease and precision, and it does not require an operator then to make mechanical repositions of the stage for centering it back to uh, an initial load position. So with an alignment made, once that's deemed acceptable, I would simply press my uh, contact separate button, and that would lock my alignment into position, 
And now I'll simply press expose. By pressing the expose button, what we'll see is the head will move out of the way. The shutter will automatically open. Again, this is a part of our automatic sequencing. The head goes back, and now the operator simply pulls the tray out and replaces the wafer.